Hey guys, Tater here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to make your own custom blocks using paintings. Now these won't be full blocks, but they'll they'll be kind of like how a wall panel would be, or one side of the block. So pretty much to do that, what you want to do is make a large scale version of what you're doing. Usually something like 16 by 16 or larger works. The larger you do it, the more detail you have. Like if I took a picture of this happy face, you'd obviously see the squares. But if it was maybe 128 by 128, then the squares would kind of fade out because as you zoom away, it gets more round. But anyway, now I have one on the ground and one on the one on the vertical to show you that if you're going to make a painting, you want to have it vertical. And, and this is the reason why. When you try to line up the painting or the camera, you can see the white box at the bottom it hugs it, but at the top it's too wide. You can't look completely down, but you can look perfectly straight. Now to line up the camera angle right, what you want to do is get it kind of close to where there's a little tiny space between what you want and the line, and you want to look up and down to line it up parallel. Once that's done, you're going to do the same thing, but left and right to, to take care of the top and bottom, and you can also zoom in to kind of crop away. Once you have your box highlighted what you want, you just swing your hammer until all of your HUD goes away. Now when your HUD goes away, it's immediately saved on a photo and you can actually place that down with a painting. To do that, you push Y to prospect it and A to set a photo. And you can see down at the bottom here, I already have some set for my world. And my new painting loaded up here with all my extra ones. So if I load it up, I've got the smiley face as a block. And I can put as many of those as I want. Now if I were to do it with the one on the ground, I would have clay up in the top corners of it because it captures everything within the white box. And now to get rid of one of those photos, if let's say you accidentally took 40 pictures because you had no idea what the camera was for. I see that a lot of times in my pixel art world. What you do is go to photos, you find the one that you took that you don't want and you push Y to delete. And it's that simple. And you can also go back in here and look. Like, let's say, okay, I took a picture, but I don't remember how I did that. You can go through and you can actually look around. And let's say, okay, I want to look at this. You push A to view and it zooms in. And you can see all the blocks that you placed. So you can kind of recreate your own. 